finally new blue protocol information and videos it's been so long hey guys and welcome back to rage gaming my name is hollow and this is blue protocol i've been covering the major information announcements around this game all the way since its original trailers and the original beta that i played in we're finally back to talk more about it now that we have the newest dev live stream and a load of new information as a super quick summary of blue protocol is since it has been a while since i've made a video about this game it's an upcoming anime styled MMORPG with action combat based on every class using aimed combos, abilities, evasive movement, blocking and parrying, unique powerful ultimates, and the ability to summon Imogen to summon you in combat. There are monsters of many different sizes and shapes, some can be big hitting, some are elemental casters, support healers, damage buffers, and they're all unlocked by defeating the Imogen and then creating your own version of it. The game's set to have a unique anime-esque storyline which we actually got more of a glimpse at recently recently it looks very interesting and very visually pleasing. The game is still set to release late 2021 but here's the downside only in its original region of Japan at first. It has confirmed global release planned, it is in dev by Bandai Namco who are well known for bringing eastern games to the west and they plan to do this with the blue protocol that has been announced. So there's some basics about the game, if you'd like to know more I've made different videos about it like my original experience in the beta but today let's talk about the new news. That new dev livestream revealed the new class that was teased ages ago and also reveals the major combat update and improvements which look really good and then a bunch of other details we'll talk about too. Now the original dev live streams are in the original language which is Japanese so my translation of this information comes from the wonderful website as always Blue Protocol Database. A huge thank you to those guys for the great work they do for this community. Be sure to check out that website if you want to learn more about the game. Let's get started then shall we with that brand new class that was announced and revealed. The Heavy Smasher is exactly what the game needed. A two-handed heavy weapon user which was kind of missing in the original Original four classes. This futuristic hammer user looks so cool and is able to use a mix of melee smashes, leaps and slams, while also being able to charge up the weapon like a cannon and fire off either point blank shots or range shots. It feels kind of like a, almost a switch axe with the zero sum discharge. I love the movement on this one though. You can use those cannon blasts for leaps or evasion, gap closing, AOE slams, the self buffing with the armor buff shown, the rock body buff, and enemy debuffs in which we see the user blast an enemy away which then slows them and then you hold them in place. Apparently while the class is slow in nature they've tried to balance it out with high stun and knockback abilities controlling the enemy with high impact hits. To combat the slow swings it also has the highest HP of all the classes and multiple super armor skills. I assume that just means hyper armor so you can actually finish an attack while also taking a blow at the same time but overall I love the design of this class. The futuristic tech the people of this world use is very cool visually but it also lets them create very interesting weapons like this one but I think they're clearly going down the route of more futuristic tech which we're getting a glimpse of in the new enemy types mostly we've been fighting these Imogen based monsters around the world but now we're seeing humans with guns look pretty interesting and whatever the hell this huge robot with a massive shield is these are completely new enemy types that we haven't seen before and what appears to be also in a new area with the original region of the beta and trailers that green region and then the teased desert zone we've seen pictures of this could now be our third major region that we're catching a look at but anyway now let's talk about the updated combat with the new mechanics meant to create a better flow to the action we have four new mechanics listed today assault attacks evasion attacks altitude bonuses and perfect evasion. Perfect evasion is what you might imagine where you dodge at the last possible moment and receive a benefit for it. In the case of the fighter you'll have your attack boosted. In the case of the spellcaster your spells will have a greater range of effect so it seems like there's a different benefit per class. Perfect evasion will be shown by the blue circle effect that pops up right as you successfully evade. Then there's that altitude bonus which is quite interesting. Meant for ranged attacks while on higher ground than your enemy you'll be rewarded with increased attack damage based on the altitude difference. That is really interesting. You literally benefit from having the high ground. So making use of the terrain to your advantage will not only protect you from incoming attacks, but also grant you extra damage on your targets. It's really cool because last time we had that new plunge and slam attacks from melee types, giving those guys a way to use height and terrain to their advantage. Well, now the Rangers have one too. Now let's get into the new skill builds, which give us a different way to play on all the classes. First up is the new aggro system 
system shown with the fighter. This system is called Hate. It forces monsters to attack the player using skills against them. A classic aggro system, providing tanks a way to hold aggro during group combat. But are you seeing the new combat on the fighter? Compare this to my fighter back in the beta where I'm using basic combos with a choice of, say, spins or stabs while working in abilities for CC or AoE. Maybe I'll land a block or a parry here and there. Meanwhile, this new fighter is flying around the fight. It looks so good. The new evasion providing a damage buff by dodging at the right moment with that blue pop, that new slide shield slam for a stun, the quick combo with low level AoE spliced in. This player is working his way around the enemies until they're grouped up and then hits them all at once with a bind ability to hold them together, giving him the opportunity to self buff the sword to provide new benefits. Continuing to work around the monsters, evading attacks and then unleashing that new buffed up blue aura AoE, which deals damage and self buffs with different elemental defenses. This is a huge step up from before. It was simple combos and four abilities you would use in between. This feels much more fluid, high pace, actual action combat. So I'm very impressed with this update. Just a genuine well done to the dev team. You might know that during that blue AoE buff, there was a lot of elemental resistances being added to the player. It seems like they're making elements much more impactful now. Monsters are going to have their own element weaknesses that you can use against them. So by using different bursts, you can grant yourself different elemental attacks, ideally to use whatever the monster's weak against. Now let's look at the striker who has now been given super armor, which makes sense. Just like that new class, the Smasher, there's a lot of attacking without thinking about evasion or blocking or anything like that. So the Striker had Lifesteal to help with that. Well, now we also have Super Armor to absorb damage without worrying about evading, which gives them that hyper-aggressive playstyle of Super Armor and Lifesteal where you just don't care what the enemy's doing and you just keep doing massive combos and even using fire elements shown in the next video. Just how clean does this look? The range on the basic attacks feel bigger. The speed at which it all comes out is faster. It looks great. I'm very tempted by the striker now. The third class shown is the Blast Archer, who now has different builds with debuffing the enemy. Beforehand, there was that AoE ability to heal. Well, now there's different versions of that. This one is a earth shattering slow, so you can kite enemies through it. There's the new multi-shot, which is a sort of poison debuff on the enemy to deal damage over time. So I imagine some enemies are going to be weak to poison, and that'll be a great build for that. But there's still support playstyles with the Archer if you want to go with that in a totally different build, giving you ways to stun enemies, uh, faster ability cooldown benefits, CCing enemies with that new sleep effect, or just placing heals on your team and so on. So clearly we have new ways to augment our abilities based on what we need. And each class has multiple, very different options for that. The Spellcaster is a clear example of that. Earlier in the year, we caught a glimpse of the new way Spellcaster is going to work with three elements, being able to choose a different element to focus and change your playstyle with that. Here we get a better look at fire and ice mages, fire burning the enemy with a lot of huge AoE explosions and projectile shots which can be charged for a greater effect. Interestingly, we're also seeing a sort of neutral style of magic throughout with weaving fire in between that where possible. And we see that the same with the ice magic, which seems to stun and slow enemies as part of the attack's effects. So instead of damage over time, we have CC ability as a different style of utility. Apparently the new way it's gonna work is spellcasters are gonna have to use all three elements to begin with, and then they'll go on to specialize in one of those elements. So neutral magic, will be used as you go but the unique utility you choose is based on one of the three elements which as we knew it was fire ice and the electric element we saw in earlier videos so there's a good look at the new combat changes throughout that hour-long stream there was a lot of other little details to show off as well like the new training mode which will provide you training dummies to test your damage practice your combos i'm sure we'll get good use out of that when learning new playstyles. there's new group gestures to add more expression to the game reminding me a bit of destiny 2 gestures where you provide a prompt for another player and then they can come up to you and do like a fist bump high five shake hands whatever just like that in these images we see multiple people doing things together like rock paper scissors and hand holding a woo importantly to combat there was also more of an npc cop showcase which is a feature we looked at before but now specifically with fest which is a character who's part of the main story she'll be fighting alongside you too with other npcs but in this footage we see her throw some items which do stun enemies obviously helping you out she can take aggro or even buff you up so it certainly seems like npcs are going to be very useful inside the story but i wonder if we'll be able to see them and use them elsewhere lastly there was a huge list of quality life improvements for the game things like better water 
walking animations like the awkward fighter one being improved, equipment presets for when you build swap, the fact that we can turn off VFX for other players so when we're doing say a world boss there isn't going to be crazy ability spam anymore, new outfits, a new mount system so we can ride them even when they're out of energy, unlimited inventory so we don't have to run back to town every time we do anything after five minutes, new attack patterns on enemies for more variety, just a lot of good stuff. You can check the full list on the blue protocol database post from this live stream but overall I think it's very good stuff and clearly based on feedback from the players so yeah it's just really good to see but that's all the major stuff that I want to talk about from this live stream I'm very happy with it it's a very good update and that combat update specifically looks incredible and I'm still unsure on what class I'm gonna main when it finally does come hammer guy does look pretty good but I was thinking about maybe playing a range play style if you want to hear more about blue protocol and see more coverage and content on the channel about it be sure to subscribe I'll always be talking about it whenever there is something big enough and relevant enough whenever their next update is. Hopefully we get more information about the global release soon, but until next time, I've been Hollow, you've been you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice, to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye